Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chemistry Chapter 3 Part 2, The Mole Concept, Chemical Formula, and Equation. In this part, you will learn 3.2 Mole Concept. 3.2 Mole Concept One mole of substance is defined as the quantity of substance containing the same number of atoms contained in 12 grams of carbon-12, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles. Avogadro's constant, and A is as the number of particles per mole. And it equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 per mole. One mole of water, contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 water molecules. 2 moles of water, contains 2 times 6.02, times 10 to the power of 23, water molecules. The number of particles, depends on the type of substance. Atomic substance, consists of atoms. 1 mole of atomic substance, has 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 of atoms. For example, 1 mole of carbon contains 6.02, times 10 to the power of 23 carbon atoms. Molecular substance consists of molecules. One mole of molecular substance has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. For example, one mole of chlorine gas contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 Cl2 molecules. Ionic substance consists of ions. One mole of ionic substance has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 formula units. For example, one mole of sodium chloride contains 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 NaCl units. Since NaCl is made up of sodium ions and a positive, and chloride ions, Cl negative. One mole of sodium chloride contains one mole, and a positive, and one mole, Cl negative. So there are two moles of ions, for every one mole of NaCl. Number of moles of a substance, multiply with Avogadro number, gives the number of particles. Number of particles, divide by Avogadro number, gives number of moles of a substance. Example, calculate the number of atoms, in 0.5 mole of copper. Solution Copper is an atomic substance. 1 mole of copper has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 of copper atoms. The number atoms in 0.5 mole of copper equals number of mole times Na equals 0.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, equals 3.01 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. Example, calculate the number of atoms in 2 moles of hydrogen gas. Solution, hydrogen gas is a molecular substance. 1 mole of hydrogen gas, has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 H2 molecules. The number of H2 molecules in 2 moles of hydrogen gas equals number of mole times Na equals 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 H2 molecules. Each H2 molecule is made up of 2 H atoms. Therefore, the number of H atoms in 2 moles of hydrogen gas equals 2 times 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, equals 24.08 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, equals 2.408 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms. Example, 0 0.5 mole of magnesium chloride, MgCl2 are dissolved in a beaker of water. How many ions are present in the beaker? Solution. Magnesium chloride, MgCl2 is an ionic substance. So, one mole of magnesium chloride, 
has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 MgCl2 units. The number of MgCl2 units in 0.5 mole of magnesium chloride equals number of moles times Na equals 0.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 units. Each MgCl2 unit is made up of three ions, which are one magnesium ion and two chloride ions. So, the number of ions in the beaker equals three times number of MgCl2 equals three times 0.5 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 ions equals 9.03 times 10 to the power of 23 ions. Number of moles and mass of substance. Molar mass of a substance is the mass of one mole of the substance in grams. The unit for molar mass is gram per mole. Number of moles multiply with molar mass, we get mass in grams of a substance. Mass in grams divided by molar mass, we get the number of moles of substance. The value of molar mass is the same as the relative mass of the substance. Example, our AM of magnesium is 24. Molar mass of magnesium is 24 grams per mole. Substances with the same number of moles have equal number of particles, even though the particles are different in size and mass. Example, one mole of carbon atom has same number of particles, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, as one mole of copper atom, but one mole of carbon 12 is 12 grams, and one mole of copper is 63.5 grams, and the size of copper is atom is bigger. Example, what is the mass of 1.2 moles of sodium hydroxide, and AOH? Relative atomic mass, H, 1, O, 16, and A, 23, Solution, our Fm of sodium hydroxide, and AOH, equals 23, plus 16, plus 1, equals 40, so, the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, equals 40 grams per mole. The mass of 1.2 moles of sodium hydroxide, equals number of moles, times molar mass, equals 1.2 times 40, equals 48 grams. Example, how many moles of molecules are there in 450 grams of water, H2O? Relative atomic mass, H, 1, O, 16. Solution, our mm of water, H2O, equals 2 times, 1, plus 16, equals 18. So, the molar mass of water equals 18 grams per mole. The number of moles of molecules in 450 grams water equals mass divided by molar mass equals 450 divides by 18 equals 25 moles. Number of moles and volume of gases, all gases with the same volume, under the same pressure and temperature, have the same number of particles. The volume of one mole of gas is known as molar volume. Molar volume of any gas is 22.4 cubic decimeters per mole at STP or 24 cubic decimeters per mole when at room conditions. STP refers to the standard temperature of 0 degrees Celsius and the pressure of one atmosphere. Room conditions refer to the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure of one atmosphere. Each balloon has 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules and has the volume of 22.4 cubic decimeters at STP. Number of moles multiply with molar volume, we get volume of gas. Volume of gas divided by molar volume we get number of moles. Make sure that the volume of gas and molar volume are of the same unit, which means that both are in cubic centimeter or both are in cubic decimeter. One cubic decimeter equals 1,000 cubic centimeters. Example, 
What is the volume of 1.2 moles of neon gas at STP? Molar volume, 22.4 cubic decimeters per mole at STP. Solution. The volume of neon gas equals number of moles times molar volume equals 1.2 times 22.4 cubic decimeters equals 26.88 cubic decimeters. Example, 100 cubic centimeters of carbon dioxide gas is collected in a reaction at room conditions. How many moles of carbon dioxide is produced? Molar volume 24 cubic decimeters per mole at room conditions. Solution. The volume of carbon dioxide gas equals 100 cubic centimeters equals 100 divide by 1000 cubic decimeters equals 0.1 cubic decimeters. The number of moles of carbon dioxide produced equals volume of gas divide by molar volume equals 0.1 divide by 24 equals 0.0042 moles. Number moles, number of particles, mass and volume. Number of moles is the intermediate unit to convert other quantities of chemicals, such as number particles, mass and volume. Examples of conversion of quantity of chemicals. Convert from number of particles to mass. Example. What is the mass of magnesium powder that has 3.612 times 10 to the power of 24 magnesium atoms? Relative atomic mass, mg, 24. Avogadro's constant, Na, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 per mole. Solution. Number of moles of mg equals number of particles divide by Na equals 3.612 times 10 to the power of 24 divide by 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 equals 6 moles. Therefore, the mass of magnesium powder number of moles times molar mass equals 6 times 24 equals 144 grams. Convert from mass to volume of gas. Example. What is the volume of 100 grams of ammonia gas, NH3 at STP? Relative atomic mass, H, 1, H, 14. Molar volume, 22.4 cubic decimeters per mole at STP. Solution. Number of moles of NH3 equals mass divided by molar mass equals 100 divided by 14 plus 3 times 1 equals 5.88. So, volume of NH3 equals number of moles times molar volume equals 5.88 times 22.4 equals 131.71 cubic decimeters. Convert from volume of gas to number of particles Example, how many hydrogen molecules, H2 are there in 6 cubic decimeters of the gas at room conditions? Molar volume, 24 cubic decimeters per mole at room conditions. Avogadro's constant, Na, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 per mole. Solution, number of moles of H2 equals volume divide by molar volume, equals 6 divide by 24, equals 0.25 moles. So, the number of H2 molecules, equals number of moles, times Avogadro's constant, equals 0.25 times 6.02, times 10 to the power of 23, equals 1.505 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.